Hey, what's happening? Happy 2020. This is Robert Johnston working on my comic, The Reverend. Trying to get these pencils done with some daily work. Just hacking at it every day. Uh, I hope uh, your guys' holidays went well. And, um, you know, Happy New Year. All right, so I'm making a pointed effort this year to get more stuff done and less procrastination. Um, I am happy with the progress that I made last year, and I'm really pushing forward this year to try to just push my boundaries some more and um, learn some things, um, keep at it. And, you know, not giving up on it. I think that's pretty important. You got to really, when you look at doing a comic, even a, even a single page, you really got to stay focused. And you got to just keep at it every day, even if it's just a panel, you know. That old uh, 100 Days of Making Comics trick does the trick. And I recommend everyone should give it a try if you if you're having trouble with procrastination. And it's not really worrying about if you're at the right moment or not in your in your skill level. It's about attempting. It's about putting together something, you know, coming up with your idea and executing it on the page just trying you know no one ever got anywhere in life if they didn't try so this is uh, I think it's page one yeah page one of the reverend Um, this guy is a guy character I created uh, based off of a real person from back in the day. You know what days I'm talking about. The ones back there. The ones back in the far beyond zone. Um, in the long, long time ago. In the galaxy far-fetched away. <laughs> we all have those in our lives where you, you you know someone that you probably borrowed some of their character aspect and wrote it into one of your characters. Well, that's what I did here. And I, I kind of made it his superpower. He's a villain, but he has a superpower. And I don't want to give it away just yet. Uh, it's no, it's not eating cheeseburgers, but he looks like he eats a lot of cheeseburgers. No, it's not working on a mountain, though he looks with that beard and that hair that he's a mountain man. Nope, and it's not working at a scissor factory because he's missing a hand. Nope. I don't really want to give away too much on the story because, you know, that's, that's my secret. That's something I'm going to reveal in the story. Now you can just watch the process of me draw, drawing this, this artwork. Um... I have fun. You know, I know I'm not the greatest, but I have fun doing it. Um, And most importantly, I stay positive and I always try. I always try my hardest to get things done. Because this is what I chose to do with myself. So just get it done. Put your time in, get it done. You know what I'm saying? 
pretty easy words to live by. <sighs> Thinking of all the projects I got to do this year. Um, kind of working on a something that w will make a pretty big impact, I think, um, on my comics making career. I don't know if I call it a career. I call it a aspiration. My comics making aspirations. Yeah. So, I'll tell you what. I'm not really a fan of the subscription model for Adobe or any subscription model for that matter. So I recently ditched Photoshop and went to mainly Clip Studio and Affinity Photo because the, that is a good alternative to, to Photoshop. You can do all your design work and everything. Affinity Designer, I'm using that as well, and also Affinity Publisher for you InDesign cats out there. All three good programs, they, they accomplish everything that you need in your design programs. Um, one downside to Photoshop, oh, I'm sorry, to Affinity Photo, is that you don't have actions in there or channels from what I can see. But who cares, right? When you're using it for um, artwork, do you, I don't even think you really need channels anymore. Does anybody use channels I anymore in Photoshop for their, their separating out the, the line work? I mean, most people are doing things digitally and you can achieve the same thing in um, Affinity Photo and Clip Studio, removing the the white from the line art, moving the line art from the white background. <coughs> so, either of those either of those programs are pretty good. Um, on my iPad, I've got um, Procreate, Art Studio Pro, or something like that, and I think Scott Circlin and uh, Corey Kerr turned me on to that program. I think that's the one they use. I'm, I'm not sure. But, and I've also got um, Craft Pro. That is the program that Boro Dante created. Um, you could probably Google Boro Drawing, B O R O Drawing, and his channel will come up and you'll see all his stuff. And there's probably a lot of reviews. I saw. Pixel, this guy named Pixel something, Lucid Pixel, I think you Google his channel and you'll see he did a review on the program and he gives it thumbs up, man. And I give it thumbs up because it's just so easy to use, the interface, everything. I mean, it's not a comic book drawing and coloring app. It's, it's a painter app, you know, and if you're going to do painting that's probably a really good program to get into but still so far I would have to say that the overall program that handles comics really well is Clip Studio I, I can't think of anything else I mean I, I've been going through all the settings I've been learning how to use it I've been just really happy with it it's been very versatile. It's got all the things I need in it. And even even the coloring you can do in Clip Studio. That's really good too. Um, lately I've been I've been coloring my art in Affinity Photo just not because I don't want to do it in Clip Studio. But because I want to get better at Affinity and I'll be doing some videos um, really soon on coloring a page or some artwork using that program just for anybody who's interested um, it's it's also good to always try different programs to get you know experience using them because you never know 
there might be something in one program that is easier to figure out or at least you come across you have a realization using that program then you say to yourself wow I bet you I could do that in this other program and then you go to the other program and you're able to mimic that same technique and then you're like wow I did I can you know and it just opens up your mind and you're like uh, you're excited to to think about what's possible with these programs you know that's all it's not a big big deal it's just every day getting into it you know and doing your work so I really like this page a lot uh, it's probably one of my favorite pages that I've drawn in a long time um, I think I'm gonna be pushing out a lot of Reverend pages pretty soon and um, it's gonna be it's gonna be really fun I'm gonna enjoy coloring this up and just making it happen you know uh, this is my favorite thing to do work on comic art and um, create stuff I think uh, there is no the only other better thing in life to do for me than this is to you know care about people and take care of the ones you love and all that good stuff but other than that I mean if it comes to a self love project in the world I can't see a better one than to do art for a couple hours a day and just I mean even reading comics I enjoy reading comics and I haven't done that a lot and I, I do need to read more comics this year you know but overall my number one favorite hobby to do is artwork I spend a lot of time um, just drawing drawing random stuff picking things and drawing it and seeing how to tilt it in 3D space in my mind, taking an object, closing my eyes, imagining it, rotating in my mind, giving me a 360 view or something, and just, uh, you know, finding the excitement in it and drawing it. I know it might seem kind of boring if you don't have the patience it might seem boring or you might feel like you're not getting anywhere but realistically you gotta have that patience you know and you gotta have that perseverance to uh, <clears throat> dig deep and, and do some art because it's one of the most rewarding things I do with myself every day you know as creators, and anyone that's you know realized that they're that they're in this to win it, that they're that they want to do it. As creators, is there any other way? <laughs> is there any other way? I don't think there is. I think you live it, you breathe it. It becomes a part of your daily life. It becomes uh, one of the reasons you live. You know. Just enjoy it. I appreciate the ability to somewhat be able to draw. Um, I don't know if I didn't have this going on in my life, uh, would I would I be a sniper? You know, would I be an axe murderer or a homicidal maniac? Who knows? Or would I be in another another profession? You know, would I even be a designer? I, I don't know. If I wasn't an artist, if I didn't start drawing first, would I even be a graphic designer or a web designer or a marketing, you know, person? I'm not certain. Because it, I did have other callings in life, you know. I, I could have been a cop. I could have been um, a, uh, a chef, 
you know, I, I, I like cooking. Could have been a chef. Could have been a, could have been in law enforcement. Um, let's see what else? What else? I've done a lot of things. I did construction. I was an iron worker. I did a lot of fast food cooking. I did, you know, back in in Michigan. The most rewarding thing that I've ever done, you know, personally, is working on artwork, getting better at it. And the only other thing, like I said, that I could see that would would capture my um, interest would be to help others, you know. And I, and I think that uh, being a sheriff's deputy or a police officer would be a good job for me. Also maybe uh running for office of some kind i don't know but everything i do has its roots in caring about people so even the comics i write i mean i'm not going to write r-rated comics or um you know i'm not going to be too crazy with it I, i do believe in your voice and and being true to your voice and being true to yourself and when you are able to to do that and to say that through your artwork and in your life you become a whole person and your you, your capabilities are unlimited at that point because then you no longer care what people think you no longer waste the time to put up with the with the BS you know like uh, you're like I don't have the time for the BS and you can sift right through it and, and realize what's wasting your time what's not wasting your time and just make it happen what's well, gonna do it for me guys <clears throat> um, please like and subscribe to my channel I'm trying to get at least to a hundred people so I can change my darn name on that channel. All right. Well, take care, guys. See you in the next one. Bye.